आर यू डिजाइनिंग एनी पेजेस फॉर योर इंटरनेट विच इज़ बिल्ड ऑन शेयर पॉइंट ऑनलाइन देन दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल फॉर यू बिकॉज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन यूज द सेक्शन डिजाइन आइडियाज फीचर इन ए शेयर पॉइंट ऑनलाइन साइट स्पेशली वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन ए साइट पेज सो आई विल शो यू वाट इट इज एंड देन ऑल्सो वी विल प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीमेंट एंड सी हाउ वी कैन you know uh, design pages by using this so basically uh, this will help you to design a section okay uh, and if you are new to the uh, you know this site pages i'll put a video link in the video description you can have a look at it how we can create pages how we can add web parts those things you can uh, able to know by this so what is this feature basically this will suggest uh, you know image web part or background uh, based on your section text so whatever section you have created uh, based on that it will su suggest you and it will also suggest you know text sizing formatting those things also it will suggest and also it will change your layout optimize your content type so based on your page it will change the page layout based on the content whatever there in that section and also it will uh, it can uh, propose different banner layouts and images uh, based on the title of your page so these are the things it will show and also what are the things basically supported that is very important you should know this i'm sure microsoft team is working on it uh, you know in future you will have more things now you will see here uh, you know a banner web part it will support and banner web part is the top web part uh, you know title area web part which is now uh, in the you know that's a new feature also which came and uh, if you have one two or three text web parts in a section and also if you have one or two or three text and images web parts in equal quantities so then also that is uh, supported uh, you it will be able to show you some design ideas now this is uh, not a new feature in terms of microsoft technologies because if you are using powerpoint you are using this designer feature already in fact the ppt that you can see it here now this is created by using this let me just quickly show you this uh, where it is available now let's say uh, you know this is the uh, you know the uh, slides that you can see today i created and here if you see in the you know design tab there is a designer feature is there so if you will select it now it show me it is showing me different layout so without doing anything you can see i can change it and you can it it, it is suggesting me a few things you can see it here right so you can see how it is showing now i can go quickly i can uh, select this entire thing and i can go to the home and i can change the text format to black and now you can see here how it looks like right so this is what is the designer feature in uh, you know in powerpoint most of my slides i use this feature to you know design it now let me uh, open a serpent site you can see here this is a serpent site what we will do here is we will create a page so i'll click on this i'll page and here i'll create a blank page and i will say uh, page design demo i'll give a title for it page design demo and uh, you see it here uh now this this is what is the banner web part it is it will come now it is actually the new uh, uh feature is not coming here in this tenant so you cannot see it else this one you can actually delete it and uh, that is called as the banner web part which you can add uh you know uh, and i have also another video where i have explained how we can remove this title area web part you can see this is the title area now so that is what but in the new uh, tenant you have the latest feature that is already there i have seen in my other tenant where you can actually remove it okay now i will not go much into this one what i'll do here is you can see now the section also is changing now let me just quickly tell you i think the last video i made that is in the old uh, you know interface now you can see here the section you can add it here previously you can add in the left side now you can see you can add it here so the section layout is here and then look at this here toolbox and then you can see properties for this section whichever is selected and then this is the design areas you can see we'll go deep into it now what we will do here is i will delete this and uh, i will delete this also and you can see i'll add a section here first one is i'll add a one column layout 
and here you can see I'll add a text to a part. I simply added a text to a part on this. I didn't add anything. I'll go to the design areas and then you can see here there are certain design ideas it suggested to me. Again, I didn't put any text. Now look at this uh, right side section where the design ideas is appearing and you see different text font. All these things are there with different background and stuff like that. And you can see so more ideas and you will see more ideas into it right so you can see it now suppose i will add this now you can see here now how this is coming you can add your text uh, you can sorry you can edit your text and then you know this is how it is coming so if we'll click on this one again and now the same section we have selected on this now you see some more option on this now here let's say uh, i want to show let's say this one now you see here how this is appearing right definitely this is a different layout now you see select this now you see there is a image and a text it is appearing here you select this you can see there is a different things appearing on this right so like you know whenever you have this kind of things you can anytime you can go to the design ideas and then it will show you uh, the designs now you see here now look at this look at this right so you have a different you can see the font also as i said right previously also the font will come differently now this is one way so where i have didn't i didn't add anything and it showed me something second one is i'll add one more uh, you know section here i'll click on the section i'll add a two column layout in this and in this two column layout i'll add a text here and i'll add a text here as i said like you know previously it is like uh um i told you right it will have equal number of so i'll added uh, one text one uh, two text here so i'll just select it let's see whether what it is suggesting to us now you see here it is not suggesting anything to us don't worry if you have it is not suggested anything um i will delete this what i'll do here is i'll click on this i'll add image web part the image i will add uh, from the stock image let's say i'll just take this one let's say and now we have a image and we have a text i will add some dummy text into it so this is a dummy text something like that i'll add and now i'll go to the design ideas for this particular section you can see it here now it you see it here now it is showing me a lot of things so i can select this i can select this i can have this one you can look at this right so you you can uh, see something like this next one is i'll click on this i will take three column layout and here i will add a text i will add here an image so i'll say stock image i will take this image and i will try to add one more text here right so let's say i will give title of this post and then i'll say here title sorry the description let's say i'll add like this so you can see here it is not showing me any suggestion on this what i'll do here is i'll add one more image here i'll go to the stop stock image and i'll add this you can see it here now i have two images so now let's see whether it is showing me now you can see it here as i said before it should have equal number so in this case you will see here two text and i have added two images that's the reason it is suggesting me now now you can see here now i can have something like this right you can see it here next one i will add three section okay i'll add three section and on these three i'll add three text box on this so let's say i'll add text box on this and I will say power apps and then I'll say power automate and the last one I will say power BI now uh, we will see whether uh, now we can see three text to a parts I'll click on this hopefully it will suggest me now some of the things now you can see it here now you see there are different designs on this. Now if you in the right side you will see it here. Now you can see 
now let's see it is coming like this and you can see it added three images and by the way you can go individually you can change the images so it's not like you cannot change it for example i don't like this message i can go here browse images so i'll go to the stock images i can add uh, let's say this one here so now you can see here right so this way you can change the images that doesn't mean even you can upload images custom images so the the intention here is to design it and then you can have customize it also now you can see it here it is showing me in this way right now you let me just close you can see here power automate entirely on this section and then these things and here here is the title so it has different designs you can see it here right so uh, most of the things you can see it here uh, you know by using this design ideas for this particular section by the way this is for the section and it is not supported for other web parts for example i'll have add a section and let's say here i will add a uh, list web part or uh, timing being this is not supported so um, you know you will not uh, see a you know design features on this and again even if i'll add a text here let's i'll say this is a text now you will not see any design things here because you know this is not supported this one so if i'll delete this then only i can uh, you know now i can show some it will show some designs to me so you can see it here right so it is showing me some designs you can see right so that's how it is so uh you know this is how you can use design a section by using this section design ideas and uh, you have to remember these things whatever we discussed on this uh, now this is very important so it is supported for one banner web parts one or three one two or three text web parts so if you add four text web part it will not show and also one two or three text and images so and the web parts in equal quantities that is very important so that also it will show like two text two images three text three images that that's how it will be also supported the best utilization you can do on this is if you have a text or a image is there you want to get a you know good section or a attractive a visually attractive section you can put the text and then then, then just use the design feature it will design the section correctly so i hope this will be helpful for you to design uh, you know a page uh, especially a particular section uh, by using this feature and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel so that uh, you will get notification whenever i'll make videos like this thank you and have a nice day